Would you like to compete against Tesla? I would hate to compete against Tesla. So Warren Buffett initially would say, you know, said, you know, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, he said that, you know, he wouldn't invest in Tesla. And now he says he would hate to compete against Tesla. In the midst of all this tension, Tesla still has a booming future. And it's not just us who have this very bullish outlook on Tesla. Renowned Tesla investor Ron Barron's son, David Barron also shares this bullish outlook and has recently predicted that Tesla can make up to 550% gain despite the current buzz in the stock market. Could he be right? Can Tesla possibly make up to 550% gain, even with the stiffening competition and a plunging stock price? Let's find out. They're going to have the cost half of what it is right now, half. And, uh, and they're going to sell the car for, I don't know, maybe a third less than what it is right now, and there's credits. So this is an... Toyota almost bankrupted the whole automobile industry 20 years ago. Well, do, do, do you at the same time think <clears throat> that the big three have their work cut out for them? We're going to have uh, UAW head on today, Sean Fain. And, and what the rank and file are asking for, given the uncertain future of whether Americans ever embrace non-Tesla EVs, I mean, would you think that the, the big three are have the work cut out for them? Would you at least acknowledge that, do you think? I haven't studied uh, the big three uh, you don't own relationships them. with the unions. Uh, I, I don't you know, own them, although I really like Mary Barra, but I don't know. Would them. you like to compete against Tesla? I would hate to compete against Tesla. So Warren Buffett initially would say, you know, said, you know, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, he said that, you know, he wouldn't invest in Tesla. And now he says he would hate to compete against Tesla. Uh, so. So, so, so to go on to this, so the Model 2, this is coming within, uh, you know, by 2025. When that comes, that's going to be exactly the same thing as what happened when Tesla introduced the Model S. So you're going to see this tremendous change going on there. And then, as I said before, the software, core competency, Model 2, half price, and then Dojo. So Dojo. Oh, right. Yes, yeah, so I said, what is Dojo? Yeah. So Dojo is a training. And what that is, that they have this massive amount of data for all these cars that have been driving around for millions and millions of miles, and, and that keeps growing exponentially. No one has that. They have this data. But to crunch the data, you need compute. And compute is what NVIDIA has. Uh, and NVIDIA has compute, a chip, which is for everyone to use. They have all these different, uh, you know, device, all these different, uh, you know, opportunities that this company has. What our company has is they're making their own uh, compute. David Barron, son of the renowned investor. Ron Barron has made comments that have sent shockwaves through the financial world with his audacious prediction. And his take is that Tesla's stock price could surge by a staggering 550%. This bold claim has ignited both excitement and skepticism, prompting us to delve deeper into the factors fueling Barron's optimism about Tesla and the potential roadblocks that lie ahead. In this video, we'll have a look at David Barron's bullish predictions for Tesla, as well as the possibility of the automaker meeting the predicted percentage increase in gains in just a few years from now. It might interest you to know that David Barron not only predicts a 550% gain for Tesla, but also a stock price target of $1,200 by 2030. Pretty juicy, isn't it? Now let's see how possible it is to achieve this. But first, let's listen to predictions from the legendary investor, Ron Barron himself. But I think the more interesting things right now are Tesla and SpaceX. And, and uh, Tesla, so we've been an investor in, so Tesla is now at a similar stage where it was in 2014, 2015, uh, when I was investing, 16, and they were doing 40,000 cars a year. They're now doing a million eights on the way to 20 million. And uh, they've been growing 50% a year, and uh, this year they'll probably be up, uh, you know, 25, 30%. Next year, same, about the same. But there's a new uh, car coming. 25, 30% revenue? Uh, no, units. Or units, okay. Units. And, uh, and then they got this, uh, the battery business, which is $6 billion a year, and that's going to be up uh, triple over the next three years, and that's going to go up 30 times. Ron Barron is a billionaire investor and the founder of Barron Capital, a mutual fund company that has been one of the largest and most loyal shareholders of Tesla. Barron has been investing in Tesla since 2014, when the stock price was around $40 per share, and he has since seen his investment grow by more than 25 times, making him over $6 billion in profits. This analyst is not only a fan of Tesla's products, but also of its CEO, Elon Musk. 
and he believes that Musk is transforming the world with his innovations in electric vehicles, battery technology, solar power, and space exploration. Barron is an example of a long-term investor who has a clear vision and a strong conviction in his bets. He is not swayed by the noise or the naysayers, but rather by the facts and the trends. He is also not afraid to take risks or to go against the crowd. Rather, he embraces the opportunities and the challenges. Hello everyone and welcome back to Tesla Tomorrow. David Barron, just like his father, is now starting to become very bullish on Tesla. At the heart of Barron's bullishness lies Tesla's rock-solid foundation. The company reigns supreme in the electric vehicle EV market, boasting a commanding 25.9% share, three times that of its nearest competitor. Tesla's competitive advantage and innovation is driven by its vertical integration, software capabilities, and constant improvement. For instance, Tesla recently disclosed its upcoming lithium refinery, which Elon Musk refers to as a money-printing machine. In May last year, Musk announced a plant that would have the capacity to make enough lithium to support the production of around 1 million EVs annually. And now, this system is set to debut earlier than initially projected and may also expand in scope. According to Tesla, this plant's primary purpose is to produce lithium hydroxide that can be used in the production of battery cells at the company's Gigafactory in Austin, Texas. And the secondary goal is to demonstrate the power of Tesla's cheaper new processing system, which could become an industry-wide standard if it's successful, thus transforming the electric vehicle industry yet again. Before we continue, if you like this type of content, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on notifications to stay up to date on everything happening with Tesla. Tesla's leadership position is bolstered by its unwavering commitment to innovation. From self-driving capabilities to industry-leading battery range, Tesla's gigafactories and vertical integration strategy ensure it stays ahead of the curve. And let's not forget the financials. Tesla has witnessed impressive revenue and profitability growth, with Q3 2023 showcasing a remarkable 75% year-on-year increase in revenue and a 57% jump in net income. But financial figures only tell part of the story. Tesla also enjoys huge following, translating to premium pricing and a fiercely loyal customer base that serves as a powerful brand advocate. Interestingly, Barron's gaze extends beyond the present, envisioning a future teeming with growth opportunities. Tesla's aggressive expansion into new markets like India and China, coupled with their ambitious 50% growth target for international deliveries in 2024, also paints a picture of global domination. Melissa Lee, I think, has a quick Tesla question because I know I want to talk to you about a whole bunch of other things. Melissa? Yeah, Ron, thanks for taking my question. Um, you know, when you think about China, how, how do you think about the growth there? Because that's a key piece of the Tesla story. Lee Auto reported uh, its earnings yesterday and had strong EV guidance. It's gaining market share. I'm just wondering how you think about the competition, but also the weakening Chinese consumer. And have you discounted that portion of the Tesla story at all, given the, the Chinese economic forecasts out there? Um, Tesla right now is doing about a million eight cars a year. When we started investing in the company seven years ago, when we invested between 2014 and 2016, they were doing 41,000 cars a year. So 41,000 cars a year to a million eight, they're on their way to 20 million cars. China is about a million right now of their two million eight. Uh, but uh, a large percentage of what they make in China is exported from China to Europe. Uh, and uh, the more they build in Europe, of course, the more they're going to save on transportation costs and duties. Uh, the idea is that China uh, invited Musk in and invited him in because the Chinese car companies had done very poorly for a long time. And the promise was that he's going to help them uh, become better car manufacturers and going to be, he's not trying to take over the market in China, better car manufacturers and develop a local supply chain. And so he was the only one that's ever been invited into China that's been able to not have a partner, a local partner, to operate their business. So I'm convinced that they have good operations in China. The person who runs the Chinese business, the, uh, the Tesla business in, uh, uh, in Austin, in fact, is probably in line to be an a, a, you know, a important person uh, at Tesla overall. 
he's now, he's Chinese and he runs, he was brought from China to, to Texas and uh, uh, runs the business there. He's going to be in charge of all the automobile business. So I think the relations they have with China are exceptionally good. Uh, uh, they're both people are getting something from it. Uh, and I think that that business will continue to grow, but he's going to open plants all around the world uh, for low cost cars. And wait till you see what's going to happen when all of a sudden they start selling cars instead of for $40,000 a piece for $25,000 a piece, which is going to happen in the past a year, year and a half uh, from their new model. The new model they think is going to do 5 million cars a year, 5 million cars a year for the Model 2. That's coming. Similar to his son's prediction, Ron Barron thinks that Tesla will be the largest and most profitable company in the world by 2030 and that its stock price could go as high as $1,500 per share by that time. But let's look at the possibility of this happening. While Tesla's valuation may not be up to a trillion dollars currently, the automaker's growth days are definitely far from over. Even analysts estimate that earnings per share, EPS, will grow by an average of 28% annually over the coming years. Tesla's growth will be largely facilitated by its strong fundamentals. First, the demand for its cars will probably grow significantly in the coming years as EV adoption becomes the new normal in the auto industry. Also, revenue is expected to grow significantly from superchargers, FSD, Cybertruck, Semi, and RoboTaxi. Only five companies, namely Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, Amazon, and NVIDIA, have posted outsized gains in market cap from last year till date. And these companies are part of the elusive club of firms touching $1 trillion in market valuation. Tesla was once part of this club, but as of January last year, the automaker had lost over half of this value. This came amidst an economic downturn and increasing competition in the electric vehicle sector, with analysts questioning whether or not Tesla could become a trillion dollar stock again in the future. However, while it's evident that Tesla will face a lot of challenges on its way to a $1 trillion valuation, we believe that this is still very possible. The highly anticipated Cybertruck and Tesla Semi are poised to tap into new customer segments, further accelerating sales growth. And then there's the revolutionary RoboTaxi, a potential game changer that could redefine the transportation landscape. But the crown jewel of Barron's optimism lies in Tesla's autonomous driving technology. It is said that successful development and deployment would solidify Tesla's position as a leader in the future of mobility, unlocking a treasure trove of revenue potential. Do you believe that, that autonomous cars and this whole idea of robo-taxis and the like has to happen? Is that part of the valuation plan for you? And the reason I ask is you just saw that GM Cruise effectively shut down their autonomous vehicle program in the U.S., at least temporarily, because they haven't been able to get it to the right place. Clearly, Tesla hasn't been able to, ha hasn't gotten there yet either. And so I'm curious, and you know, we just had uh, Derek Hazrashahi on from Uber, and he said, look, it could be f another five or 10 years before this type of technology is, is really ready. And we've been talking that five or 10 years sort of path for five or 10 years. Uh, we have a small investment in Cruise, uh, $30 million. Uh, I made the investment because I wanted to learn about the process that they were doing. Every one of those Cruise cars cost $250,000. $250,000 to have the equipment that's on it in order to operate autonomously. Uh, they have to be specifically in mapping every city, and it's, it's, it's a tougher business. We were out there a couple of months ago uh, to drive around in one. It was pretty amazing. You're driving along, they, oh, they pick you up at 9 o'clock at night, right. you drive around San Francisco, you pull up and there's a car next to you that's also no driver in it, and it pulls away and you pull away. It's like the headless horseman, I mean, really something. So, uh, so we have a small investment in that. I really like Kyle. Uh, I like the executive who was there who left and goes to, went to Exxon. Uh, I think ultimately uh, Microsoft thought they were excellent and uh, invested in it as well. Uh, but we have a very small investment. But as far as Tesla, that software, no one has that. They have data. No one has that. Tesla is going to have that car. They're going to be able to charge for autonomous two or $3,000 a car a year to have your car operate all by itself. And it's virtually there. 
And, and I don't think people realize that they have any idea of what that's going to mean. And that's a business that ultimately, that business alone is going to be worth a trillion dollars. That business alone is going to right. be able to do $100 billion, $80 billion a year of revenues in three or four years and growing every time. And they'll do 20 million cars a year ultimately for themselves. And then in addition to that, of the 80 million cars, probably another 30 million will use their technology. For Tesla stock to really be worth $1,200 per share in 2030, there are a few things to consider. First, Tesla is largely responsible for bringing electric vehicles into the public eye by introducing the Roadster as a potential option for buyers with sufficient battery range, speed, and acceleration. Now the company has a full lineup of somewhat affordable EVs for consumers, causing most legacy automakers to start scrambling to catch up. Similarly, its superchargers could potentially bring more people to start buying Tesla cars, especially since the automaker has opened up its fast charging network to other EV makers. And then there is AI. There is a recent market frenzy for all things artificial intelligence that has further fueled an already buoyant sentiment for technology, and Tesla, being an AI company, is set to benefit from this. Already, Tesla Bull and the CEO of ARK Investment Management Kathy Wood has described the company as the biggest AI play, which will help its stock price rise to about $2,000 in 2027. Without that AI push, Wood expects the stock to be worth only about $400 by the same time. Analysts like Kathy Wood and Ron Barron are not worried about the short-term volatility or the competition that Tesla faces in the market. Rather, they trust that Tesla has a strong competitive advantage in terms of its technology, brand, customer loyalty, and network effects. Based on long-term expectations, Tesla still has plenty of opportunity for growth, and investors may only need to wait a few years to see a trillion-dollar value unfold. So, will Tesla's stock price skyrocket by 550% as David Barron predicts? Only time will tell. However, one thing is certain. Tesla's journey will be anything but ordinary. The company's strong fundamentals, coupled with its aggressive growth plans and disruptive technology, create a compelling case for its future success. Also, this prediction by Barron serves as a spark, igniting a conversation about Tesla's potential and the exciting yet uncertain road that lies ahead. But do you think David Barron is right with his Tesla and Tesla stock price forecast? Let us know in the comments section. And don't forget to tell us what your valuation for Tesla is. If you would like to know what Tesla has been up to these past few days, go ahead and click on the next video on your screen. See you there.